You know evil. Subscribe now. Actually, straight teeth help a person effectively bite, chew, and speak. Teeth that properly align tend to look better and work better. Straight teeth can also prevent decay by giving plaque fewer places to hide. That nasty plaque can lead to gingivitis or more serious gum disease. Protruding front teeth have a good chance of being broken or fractured in an accident. Crooked teeth can cause abnormal wear on tooth surfaces, misalignment of jaw joints, neck and facial pain, and even headaches. So how do braces work? Actually, braces put pressure against the teeth, which makes them gradually move over a period of time. The pressure comes from an arc wire attached to the braces that runs on the outside of the teeth. The top teeth and bottom teeth form separate arcs. The arc wire is springy and when attached to the braces on the teeth, it becomes deformed or bent along the path of the uneven teeth. And so it exerts a gentle force on the teeth to gradually move them to their desired position. Sometimes the braces are put on the inside of the teeth where they are invisible but they can cause problems such as speech impediments and irritation of the tongue. All the braces had the arc wire connected to a lot metal then cemented around each tooth. Today, braces have the arc wire attached to tiny brackets that are connected to the front of the teeth, with a slot on the outside to hold the wire. In both kinds, as the teeth get closer to desired position, the arc wire needs adjustment from time to time to apply continuous pressure to move them over the next interval. Newer arc wires are made from nitinol, a space as metal alloy that NASA uses to deploy satellite antennas that are folded up during launch. At room temperature, the nitinol is very flexible and will hold a deformed configuration. But when heated, the nickel-titanium wear returns to their original shape. So in the heat of a person's mouth, the alloy wear that has been bent along the uneven teeth continually apply pressure to the teeth as it returns to its former contour. After applying an etching material to each tooth, which prepares the enamel for a bonding agent that will hold each bracket to the tooth, the orthodontist rinses the edge and applies a sealant chemical, then apply the brackets to the tooth surfaces. The bonding material does not harden or set until the orthodontist shines ultraviolet light on it. This allows time for any last-minute adjustment on the placement of the bracket before attachment of the arc wire to the brackets. The first arc wire is drawn, thin, and flexible. In subsequent visits, the orthodontist uses rectangular, larger diameter wires. The wear slot of the bracket is rectangular, so a rectangular wear fits more snugly into the bracket and exerts a greater force. Braces are generally left on for a tad less than two years. To keep the teeth straight after removal of the braces, people wear a retainer. The retainer holds the teeth in their correct position while bone fills in around them. A retainer is worn for 3 to 6 months. The orthodontist may recommend wearing the retainer only at night, especially during those later months 